Hi there. Howdy. Yeah, hi there. Hope you all are doing well. All right, well, it's already 7.05, so, uh, or 7.04, yeah. So yeah, let's get started. Welcome. It's Wad Wednesday. Once again, we will play some random Doom levels. Terry's Bizarre Adventure, Part 1 by Acid Paradox. Um, okay, so this is a Terry Wad. This is in the Terry Wads folder. It's sort of... <laughs> the, the JoJo's reference here is a bit disarming because while I normally just, by default, I just pass on a Terry Wad. But... Okay, so there's a little bit of thought going into this. My first wad, and no, this is not the usual Terry Trap map. Safety spoiler, there's only... Okay, so even just, like, having a safety spoiler, like, this is this is somebody who's, like, aware of the form and is doing something different with it than the typical, like, you know, edgelord, lowbrow, you know, I'm pretending that this is a real map, but actually there's a... yeah. There's only one Terry Trap in this wad, and it's part of the story. See, I am good guy like you, too. This wad can be beaten without cheats. The idea for this came from a thought wondering what happens to the player after he triggers a Terry Trap. This wad was also inspired by Dark Souls level design. Yes, I should be punched on the face for comparing such a good game with this silly wad. And JoJo's Bizarre Adventure franchise. You'll see some references when you'll play the game. Okay, I, I'm I'm torn about this because I, I do enjoy JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This person seems upfront about their intentions. And yeah, it sounds like they might be doing something a little different with it. So, sigh. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's play it. Let's, you know, and if it sucks, we can bail. Because that's how this works. Uh, so yeah, let's play Terry's Bizarre Adventure Part 1 from Acid Paradox from 2016. Don't make, don't make me regret this, Acid Paradox. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, and for, pe for anybody who isn't familiar with JoJo, I apologize. This is, you're here entirely because I am an enjoyer of this ridiculous manga slash anime. Um, yeah, this is like a reference to the Battle Tendency opening uh, bl with the with the song Bloody Stream playing. And yeah, we've just got Doom Guy and some JoJo's. God, I don't even know how to... T <laughs> yep. This sure is. <laughs> this is definitely going for it. Um, okay, so I think this was Doom 2, maps 1 through 4. I just heard rumors about those traps. They say you lose control of your body. Then you experience horrible hallucinations. <clears throat> is this some kind of neurotoxin? Is this some kind of new neuro... Is this some new kind of neurotoxin? Or is it something else? This is my story. 12 hours earlier. Okay, so we've got the standard... Okay, god, yeah. And for somebody who's new to this stream, okay, first of all, mods for the game Doom are called wads because they're stored in wad files. Terry wads are like I'm going to make a, a wad that's like a mean trick where you start off thinking that it's a normal level and then you get into it and the author like springs some trap on you where there's a super annoying noise, there's possibly just like offensive and gross imagery and you're stuck there and you know your only recourse is to quit out of the game 
in frustration and embarrassment that you were taken in by it. Uh, <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is a, uh, a manga that's been going since the late 80s by Hirohiko, Hirohiko Araki. It's difficult to describe. It hops, it changes genres, it changes time periods, it changes main characters. Uh, it's wild and there's nothing quite like it. It's sort of a cultural sponge for all kinds of different weird stuff. And it's still going. And uh, I don't know, yeah. And there's a good anime that relatively, you know, that started up about nine years ago um, that people are currently waiting on part six of. Um, all right, I think I've, exp I've explained as well as I maybe, oh yeah, look at that, little cyber demon in there. I mean, this is above average presentation for like, you know, what is going to be a Terry Watt. It kind of looks like they're using like high dynamic range lighting sort of thing here. Like these lights are, I don't know. I don't actually know what's going on, but. All right, give me that BFG. I also noticed that this has four. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's the that's the Terry trap being triggered. And yeah, what's going on? Yeah, we've got we've got we've got an, a gross scatological message. Uh, but then we exited. Okay, now we're in Realm of Terry. Where am I? We're unconscious for 12 hours. You can call me Acid. Okay, this is the author of the map. I healed your wounds. You were transported to the realm of Terry. There's no way to escape unless you defeat the three kings. No one has ever done that before, though. This is a meta Terry wad, yeah. I will try to help you on the way. You can have my shotgun, it's outside. Good luck. Okay, so now maybe this is gonna be just a normal level? I don't know. I'm digging this like kind of natural setting here with these trees and stuff. You know, we've got some dynamic lights and junk. Huh. Can't shoot these imps. Am I meant to jump here? What's going on? Can't like seem to get out of. Got some sweet MIDI going on. All right, I'm going to enable jumping here. Yeah, it looks like I can jump now. Although I'm being blocked, like these lines are just impassable. So maybe not. Hey, check it out! It's a dog. That's cute. It's the author. I just, I have no idea where this is going. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Like some quake style water warp there. Good stuff. Um, oh, okay, maybe I'm supposed to go down here, yeah. All right, so we're once again just playing a random doom level. Jeezy Doom features. Who's shooting at me? Alright. This definitely kind of resembles like a hub structure. Recognize this track. Oh yeah, look at that. Quake water. It's not a quake texture, but it's doing a little Q 
Canyon of Sorrow. Oh, yeah, cool. Did, did we pass through a... Okay, no, we're still in map two. Ooh. Uh, oh, wow, okay, so there's like a harsh wind here. That's going to be tough. I'm digging the custom sky and stuff. Yeah, and I'm just getting pushed along. No. Whoops. <laughs> and yeah, like, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and enable jumping here just because even if I'm technically not supposed to, I feel like this bull crap is probably more manageable without it or with it. Ah. Yeah, this is this and this is unfortunately this is definitely annoying. Like What did it say this was? The Canyon of Sorrow. Yeah, it's that seems like an accurate description. No. Yeah, and like it kind of sucks here cuz like you know, you're sort of trying to control yourself off of uh... All right, yeah, I think I'm just strictly out of bounds here. Oh, but maybe I can just bypass all this crap. I don't know, sure, yeah, let's do that. Of course, maybe I'm not triggering something that I should have. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I am not, in fact, hitting a key to, uh, to, f to, in to deliberately fling myself off. It just looks identical to player acceleration. Alright, what's what's going on down here actually? Is this just more death? Probably. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, the wind direction is consistent. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. No. Ah. Not going to lie, this is infuriating. I'm really. Yeah, all right, okay, okay. Let's save. Walk over this super even, uneven ground. All right, what's down here? Hey, cool, it's a fall that I survived. Now entering the caves. Okay. Yeah, I am digging the... There's the visuals and... Conceptually, I'm down for this. Man. Man to buy with a single barrel. It's a chore. Alright, I'm just gonna run past these fools. Except this guy who's just going to create more problems for me. So you have found the caves, huh? It's extremely peaceful here when there are no monsters around. God, no! One of the three kings guards uh, something. Guards a key up ahead, so get ready to fight. You should take this weapon I found. Please do not attack me. Alright, plasma gun. I will take it. Where's... Uh, okay, here we go. All right. 
You were expecting a yellow key, but it was me, Doomguy 2K. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> yep. Well, if this is spoiling certain details of uh, JoJo Part 3 for you, then I apologize for that. Yep. Oh, man, I gotta make a save right after this finishes. <clears throat> defeated some forum kid simulacrum of Dio, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, the whole, like, the whole, like, weaponized sexuality sort of angle of Terry Wads is definitely the most grating part of it. Because it's like, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's gross and just sort of edgelord crap. Um, okay, so I got a yellow key. All right, I'm sure we're passing through darkness here. <laughs> yeah, there's sex positive and then there's this. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's problematically unfun. Now entering Terry's forest. Oh, hell yeah, we got some Chronature music going. Sounds like it might be like an OPL2 conversion of the Super NES track, which is uh, which is kind of cool. I don't actually want to have to fight these barons, but I don't know. I dig the hell out of this skybox, though. It's just good. It's just, you know, it's a very lo-fi illusion of a forest, but, you know, I like what it's doing. What's up, buddy? Forgot how to fight arch files. Yeah, see, this is cool. We're listening to Chrono Trigger music. We're in a forest. This I can get behind.
<clears throat> the cutscene here seems to disable the, uh, yep, I got that red skull key. It disables player control, but it doesn't like kill player velocity, so the player just kind of coasts into the into the cutscene. All right, I missed a key line of what's going on here. You'll have to brave to survive what's beyond this door. You'll have to be brave to survive. Yeah. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, I know that it's a video game and there are scary fights. I guess I could probably fill up on ammos and so forth. What are the boxes of ammo I saw sitting around earlier? Just want to find those and Hi. there we go. That's what I seek. Oh, look at this. This area is kind of more extensive than it needs to be. Who's hurting me? Okay, so yeah, that was like the the canyon of sorrow or whatever. I don't know. I'm probably going overboard I'm trying to stockpile resources here, but. That was just me checking the third person view to see what I looked like. All right, you feel an evil presence inside. I am watching you. There's some sort of sinister face going on here. Survive. All right, that's genuinely disturbing. This is, this is definitely super creepy it, in sort of an on-the-nose way, but... Can I not actually, like, damage these things? Survive, it says. Alright, so it kind of looks like I'm just in a dark room here. Evil shadowy faces really are moving around a lot. Okay. Whew. I guess I survived. Yeah, I guess maybe the point there was just that I had to hold out for a certain period of time. Alright, we're gonna get some more. Yeah, f f piss off with that. Yeah, not, not into the the crappy homophobic sort of taunts and stuff. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm definitely going to save so that I don't have to subject y'all to this again. I apologize. This is also something that I think is is beneath JoJo, because while JoJo does have some problematic moments, like, it doesn't have, like, this kind of, like, just shitty homophobic sort of just... I don't know. Yeah. It sucks. Alright, so it's like doing railgun shots or something while shooting rockets. I don't know. And yeah, I don't... What's the trick to uh, dodging the railgun fire? Is it just like... Yeah, like how was I supposed to dodge that? Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to use god mode and this isn't like a reasonable challenge or anything. Uh, I don't care. Okay. What's going on here? I mean, I know that this is like the explosion wall from the Icon of Sin death, but... Uh, did we get a key over here? Okay, so I've got like three keys now. Is this... I don't know. Yeah. I think that last one just sort of killed my motivation to keep playing this crap. I mean, this is certainly like indicative of like you know, something that happens with Doom levels, which is that they're kind of simultaneously creative and, you know, these products of a social community and all that, but also just, like, maddeningly immature and, <laughs> you know, just, like, just sort of, like, gratuitously, you know, tasteless in, like, a why-did-you-do-that sort of way. I don't know. I don't know, and now I'm lost, and I don't think I care anymore. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's it for that. Okay, so yeah, that was Terry's Bizarre Adventure by Acid Paradox. I mean, thumbs up on like making the forest area with Chrono Trigger music, forest music, and all that, and like I don't know. I feel like if you're doing a Doom plus JoJo crossover. Can do a hell of a lot better. I mean, I don't know. This sort of has me thinking about like the format of ter like I think Terry Wads just have like are just sort of like an inherently crappy, immature, terrible thing. And I think this this seemed like an unsuccessful attempt to redeem them. I don't know. Like I think the way to like I think you have to disarm like their sort of senseless edge lordy homophobia and you know casual use of sexual violence in order to like actually pick them apart and talk about what they're doing otherwise you're just sort of like shit posting which i am guessing the, the entire point of this level was sort of a shit post you know i mean terry wads predate the whole concept of shit posting you know at least the term for it so anyway i don't know let's move on and get the taste of that out of our mouths uh okay cool now we have die by inferno <laughs> from 2001. Uh, not a whole lot about this. It looks like it's just Doom 2 Map 1. It's, uh, yeah, let's play Die.wad by Inferno. 
uh, Doom 2 map 1. Uh oh. <laughs> this is this is on a this is a particular genre of of level start. Oh good lord. Okay, so there's like a Romero head in there. There's only three monsters in this level. Alright, all I really gotta do is take out the Romero head there. did indeed appear to be it. Like, is there anything else to this level aside from this tiny thing? Okay, well, speaking of shitposting, that, that, this level is certainly that. It's just, it's just a large room with this and then a little start area with a BFG. That's it. I feel like, you know, I feel like, I feel like Romero deserves better in this case, so... But fortunately, it took us, you know, a minute to play through all of that. So, okay, so that was Die by Inferno. All right. At this point, it's like, okay, we've drawn two just turds here. So let's, what, what do we got next? What's, what's going to be, okay, we have a Zazer map. There we go. All right. Now, <laughs> this is Sharp Things by Zazer Acheron who is obviously a, a very well-known and highly esteemed mapper, created for the first Battle of the Bits Doom combo. In this spectacular adventure, you must wage a war against a thorn bush in your backyard that, to accidentally contain, that accidentally contains a portal to spiky hell. Time to break out the, me the metaphorical weed whacker. Uh, okay, well, cool. Yeah, I am, I am definitely ready to play a map that is good and is trying to be good on purpose. Uh, so yeah, and then yeah, this is from 2017. Yeah, let's play Sharp Things by Zazer At Acheron. Okay. I recognize this skybox, but I, I don't, I don't know where it's from. It's a cool ass vista. Creepy hell church. Check. Oh, look at this. This is an exit. But there are many skulls we must interact with. Uh, damn, okay. Fairly difficult fight. Just lands on you all at once here. What does one... What's... What, what, what are we to do here? Alright, now there's a gigantic open area. Good lord. There's a lot going on out here. Do I keep that mastermind alive for its ability to 
deal infight damage, or do I take it out? here. I don't get what the point of it is. Let's get some health. Okay. Hey, cool. A shotgun, finally. This is rough. Oof. Hit scanners in every direction, and it's dark. Yeah, this sort of like vivid red sky with like really dark level lighting is a thing you see sometimes. Like, it's just a, a sub aesthetic. Just a little thing that you can do pretty easily with dooms. What just shot me? Ugh. Uh, that's a cool looking visual right there. Yeah, there's just like a lot of like sharp, threatening kind of shapes in the sector. <coughs> Geo and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And yeah, this use of like intense red. It's uh, it's good. I'm playing Thief Gold currently. Are two and three just as essential? I know I'm skipping four. Are you talking about games in the Thief series? Because I, I, I think Thief 1 and 2 are definitely considered essential. Like, there are people who say that 2 is the best. Thief 3, I personally feel, is still worth it, but I'm a little biased because I worked with some people who worked on it. Yeah, um, yeah, Thief, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the third one, the, the first two are definitely quite similar and build steadily upon what they do well. Um, oh man. And then the third one I think is like a valid, you know, it is basically a sequel in terms of story and stuff. The fourth one I know basically nothing about it. Uh, I don't know. I have, I have not heard anything particularly good about it. It was done by a completely different team decades later. Just doesn't, just seems like kind of the definition of a misbegotten sequel. All right, cool. So can't really get pinned down here. very simple but like pretty good challenge you know like the pinkies the 
the combination of pinkies plus barons means that, like, yeah, you're given the rocket ammo, but it's pretty dangerous to to use them indiscriminately. Maybe if I focus on, ah, uh, yeah, see. Yeah, like the way that the pinkies are coming at you is, uh, it's definitely not wise to, uh, oh geez, and there's even more of them. Okay, so clearly I need to get some infighting. Some pretty serious infighting happening here. There we go. With cyber demons, you really just want to get them dealing out some of that splash damage and then off to the races. Okay. Yeah, this is just like so austere and dramatic. And actually it makes it feel like these are freestanding, you know, because the, you know, these things are completely black. It makes it, it gives it a, a very floors upon floors sort of effect. Very cool. Visually striking. So wait, do I need to... Hmm... Let's see here. Oh wait, is this how I came into this area? Yes it is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so there's one, two... There's two switches. I guess I just need to hit both of them. And I guess I could have done this... Aha. Okay. All right, so this time I'm going to hit this one first, and then this one. No. No. All right. Man, that seems... Got it. Okay, so now I have the red key. Uh, is there anything I'm missing by doing this? Maybe not. Okay. Okay, wow. Yeah, that was just perfectly timed to Doom Guy's run speed. And yeah, I have a red skull key now, so what do I do with that? I definitely have a lot more firepower to take back to that big brouhaha in the big, in the main area. Spider is after me. And yeah, the way that it's got me pinned in here, I think I am just gonna have to to take it out.
cool. Okay. So yeah, I've made this this sort of area here mostly habitable. Look at this. What's going on here? Let's see. Oh, I think I see what's going on. Yeah. Check that out. I felt pretty smart figuring that out. Things that don't look like platforms, but are... <coughs> Okay, and there's the blue key, so... Uh-oh. Have I made a terrible mistake here? this. Raised up some obstructions here. Gosh, who is shooting at me? What a bozo. Alright. doing for uh, for time here okay all right <laughs> yeah this is uh man yeah look at that look at that top down view that is nice looking just all kinds of weird stuff happening I love it Ugh. Oh goody. Okay, there is just... Ay-ay-ay. 
Yeah, that was a large monster storage area for sure. Huh, what did this do? Okay, so I raised up a stair builder, but is that actually what I wanted to do? Well, I've done it. Oh, look, it's the yellow key. Okay, there's just a bunch of hell barons in here. This is a bad situation. Aha! I have escaped, seemingly. Okay, so the barons are all down there. I'm not going to go back down there. Maybe I can hop across? Yes. Ah. This Baron's coming for me. Don't really have the distance for comfortable rocket launcher usage. Shotgun Whitlin, it is. This definitely feels a little bit sigil like in terms of just like having kind of a deliberately like chaotic sort of retro dark look to it. I don't think I can make that jump. I don't think I can make that jump. Ah, but it is crushing these guys, so that's good. That's a positive development. Alright, now we're back out here. I hear the cyber demon. Is it? Yeah, okay, so now we're looking into this space from another side. Still don't have a chain gun. Maybe I could make it across if this thing is like fully risen up. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try that. Yes. I've done it. Okay, okay. Alright, so this is just a secret. Okay, so like, what, what is the deal with all of this? Like, how do I? Yeah, okay. So we go back down here. All right, I think it's starting to kill these jerks. But yeah, like, where do I, where do I go next here? I guess I could just jump down here. Just see what happens. Oh jeez. See a Spectre. Spectre is the X Factor. In a rocket launcher baron fight. This feels like it's building towards something. Am I just going to be looking straight in the, the, the cyber demon's face? Yes, I am. 
Ah, uh, uncool. Ah, jeez. Is there even anything that I want up here, or... Oh, and now I can't get back up there, can I? So maybe that's just like permanently sealed off to me, I don't know. Uh, I do have this, though, so let's go in here. And yeah, this is going to raise up some more wacky platforms. Okay, I see. Are there any new enemies? There are. Is any of this of any concern? Doesn't seem like. Option to turn all the barons into knights. Yeah, yeah, that could... Yeah, it would be very easy to implement as a mod. And even to make it work in real time. You know, like you can change the setting in the middle of a level and they just get substituted out or converted or whatever. Um, yeah, so like, where's... Where's the way forward here? Right, so I went here, and then here. That leads off into that whole mess. That leads there. Oh yeah, this is where I started. Kind of interesting to stumble back onto this, like you know, after we've already done a whole bunch of other stuff in the level, because it doesn't feel like it's relevant, but maybe it is. This feels like a returning to starting area to strip the bones kind of thing, but you never really know. Okay, all right, yeah, that's that was the starting area. We're looking out on that gloomy, gloominess. All right, some blue armor, that's, that's welcome. But yeah, we're raising up a walkway here, and is this just, yeah, that's interesting. And then this opens. 
Yeah, okay, okay, all right. So yeah, I think that was just fleshing that whole bit out. Is there anything comparable? Oh yeah, look at this, right. So we've got these guys, these skull switches. Let's see, it is after eight. And I am curious as to where this is going. But I also need to eat dinner. Um, yeah, like, is this, is this actually, like... I kind of figured I'd be able to get back up here, you know, like be able to get back up to where I could engage that, uh... But I don't know, that does not seem to be, like, a thing I can do. Yeah, and the way I would do it would be going back out here and then going around one of these ways. No, I can't go there. Alright, so let's work back. And yeah, as for how to use these platforms, I don't know if these are intended to be walkways necessarily. in here. Nothing. No idea. Okay, well I can use this to get onto here. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, alright, alright, yeah. Damn. Yeah, this does seem like it's leading somewhere. Oh, and you know what? There's a set of, like, red doors that I haven't been into yet here, right? Like, over around here? Yes. I've not been in here. The lost holes here. And then his little bookmarks. Okay, so now we hit these. Aha, now what is it? Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, so this is looking like something. No. So there's only 14 monsters left in this level. No. All right, now there's only nine monsters left in this level. And it does seem like a pretty clear path has been laid out for me here. How do I, let's go back this way. Definitely seeming very progression flavored. I don't know if it's like critical path or what, but let's give it a let's give it a rip. Um, hmm. But now I'm on the far side of that. Oh. But cool, yeah, I've already done this, so I can... Okay, now what I am wondering is, yeah, like, if I'm up here... Right, is this, like, actually laying out a little path for me to follow here? Eh. Alright, I think I might actually have to... do a bit of the old save crawl here.
Yeah, and like if it gets me over to there, I mean, yeah, I think that's, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, we're going down, we're going down, and now we gotta go up. So like, is this possible? Yes, it is. Totally is. Okay, now I'm up here. A way is opening, and now there's the exit. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Well, is that the end of the level? It looks like it is. Looks like it's just, yeah, the pit. Sharp things. Um, yeah, cool. Well, yeah, there were some clearly some things that I missed. There was one secret and nine enemies here. But, um, yeah, pretty damn cool, I gotta say. Like, yeah, and I think it definitely, remembering that the map's name is Sharp Things, like, you know, it's, it's very true to form here. You know, it has, like, sort of a shape that it is going with, and it's just like, yeah, everything is going to be that. Um, it's cool. Like, this is a really good example. I mean, yeah, like, my... My respect for, for Zazer is, you know, unchanged by by this. It's like, yeah, just really solid mapper who knows how to, like, take an idea, develop it, do interesting things with it, be visually distinctive and cool. Just good job. I am very, I'm, I'm definitely very pleased that after playing just two, you know, just turds, two low effort, I don't know, I don't want to say that first thing was low effort, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that, I'm glad, I'm glad that we, that we pulled this one today after, after some, after some duds, but, uh, yeah, cool. Well, that is Sharp Things by Zazer, and I think that will do it for me today. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, as always. Thank you for bearing with me through the Terry Wad that ended up being just, I don't know, it just, it's, you know, it had, had a couple of promising ingredients, but just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, but yeah, thank you for, I'm sorry for subjecting you to, to some, you know, homophobic garbage, and, and, and yeah, but, um, but yeah, thank you for watching as always, and uh, yeah, have a good week, and I will see you next Wednesday, and yeah, have a good one, folks, thanks for watching.